Hey guys, we're the Dorkery. We're the Dorkery. And good morning from Animal Kingdom. I am so excited to be here today. The sun oh, it's is bright. shining on us. It's real bright. So we have had a very full week. We've had guests in town and uh, this is our fourth park of the week. Um, and we're gonna do something a little bit different in our strategy today. So all week long we have had really heavy sit down lunch reservations. Yeah. So today I canceled those reservations. Oh, you had been boom, canceled. Boom. Um, they've been Tusker amazing, house. but I wanted to do something different today. No, wait, wait, let me, let me make sure. Yeah. Tusker House didn't really do anything wrong. No, we love Tusker House. We just wanted kind of like a lighter day. Yeah. Um, not a $200 meal, not you stuff your face and then you walk around heavy. So today our goal is to eat our favorite snacks at Animal Kingdom and to uh, basically just get full on those, but get full a little bit at a time because Animal Kingdom, uh, while Tusker House is an amazing restaurant and there are several amazing restaurants here, we'll do that another day. Today, we're going for our favorite snacks and we're also not focused on the rides as much today. We're focused on the animals. We have Littles with us and so we'll be doing some of the walkthroughs, some of the animal viewing areas and definitely Safari. Ooh, let's go! Same exact reason as an elephant, but our next ones like to make nests for their babies using mud. They go to build it about 12 inches high so it's protected from heat off the ground and from flood water as well. These are the greater flamingos. morning snack at Tamu Tamu Refreshments. I'm getting the number four, Dole Whip Pineapple Juice Float for $6.49. And we have a wonderful spot to sit and, and enjoy our refreshments at the entrance to the Tusker House restaurant. It's shaded. We've got a nice bar top table. It's going to be a good morning. Mm, I am ready for Okay, I did I did look the top, but these are melting fast today, so you gotta get in there. Grilled corn on the cob. Alright, I'm gonna grab some corn. So five twenty nine for a grilled corn on the cob with African seasoning. Thank you. Ellen's got fruit. Hot dogs. And of course, the lovely churro. It's supposed to have African seasoning on it. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I thought that it would be covered more with seasoning. Do you oh, think you had to ask for it? Okay. No, it's on there. How much good. did you say that was? I wasn't with you. 525. That's awesome. I already got some stuck in my teeth. That's good. It smells amazing. It smells like the same seasoning that is on the french fries, yeah. which we are going to have Next. for our midday snack. Yeah. Uh -huh. Next. Right. Immediately. Immediately after this. Interesting turn of events. We have also ended up with a Mickey pretzel. Bite has already been taken. Definitely had to try this Mickey pretzel and cheese. You said Classic 70. Classic cheese. You said 70, 79? 70, 79, yes. This is a $70.79. So $7.79. <laughs> it was seven seventy. dollars That's a Man, lot of seven. Man, inflation Disney's gone nuts. The pretzel is $70.79. This pretzel was $7.79. <laughs> yes. I'm going to try it. Hold 
Okay. I like the one that's got the jalapeno and cheddar. That one's much better. Well, I cannot tell you about the pretzel because I covered the whole case in cheese. Plastic cheese. But the cheese is really good. Okay. It's like got a good saltiness to it. Yeah. But I am missing the jalapeno flavor from that pretzel we had yesterday. Hundred percent. That that jalapeno cheese pretzel, fire. Best pretzel ever. And this is what makes us feel better about eating fake cheese. <laughs> Haven't even been open yet. That's four dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> That's a good deal, though. Okay, so we made it on one ride after all. Um, we're gonna see if maybe this one works a little bit better than Dumbo, right? But do you have control? Okay. We're gonna try this. Let's go with it. We are in Dino Land at Chester and Hesser's Dino Rama. Do you hear that, Drew? Yours, mine raises us. Yours tilts us. Hey, bestie. That was not necessarily on my to-do list today. These lollipops. I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna show you the bag. So this was actually, that's really good. I just feel like when you're a kid, little treats like this, like they're the ones that like you just always dream about having, but your parents are like, that's not sensible. So I bought a bag for the people that we have with us. And this little bag was $7. And of course I used my pass holder 20% off. And there's six little lollipops in here. So you're looking at like a little more than a dollar for each piece. So don't deprive your kids of their childhood dreams. Just buy them a bag. There's six in there. It's so much fun. Here are the prices for Mr. Kamal's chicken and dumpling, season fries, and then your... All right, these look delicious. Mr. Kamal's fries. And do they call these dumplings or pot stickers? Dumplings. dumplings. Chicken dumplings. And we're gonna enjoy this snack today in our favorite spot on the river in front of the Tree of Life. We've already been sitting here, looking at all the different animals that you can find, enjoying the breeze and the foliage. And now, midday snack time. Thank you. So the reason we like these fries so much is because of the seasoning on them. Did we figure out what the seasoning is? Mr. You know? Mr. Kamal's. It's like a seasoning. secret, it's like a secret seasoning. And then the sauce that they give you to dip it in. What would you say that sauce is? It's sriracha mayonnaise. A sriracha mayonnaise. I'm gonna taste it. And I learned this week that you're supposed to let it sit on your tongue so you can savor it. Oh no, it's just really good. It's different than any other snack I've ever had in the parks. It has turned out to be kind of a hot day at Animal Kingdom, so everybody needs a little pick-me-up, and we got straight walk-in at Starbucks at Animal Kingdom. Yeah, like nobody here. Walked right up to the counter and ordered our food, so. It's supposed to be like spring break, but it's this the park for some reason today, today has been empty. The wait times are low. I was trying to look for Comparatively speaking, the empty. name of what we are having. We're having the iced hazelnut oat milk Shaken espresso for a little pick me up at Starbucks Animal Kingdom. Dance with me, Drew. Dance with me. Dance in the Animal Kingdom Starbucks. <laughs> Here 
here for the Olympia. We are in Pandora, sitting outside at Satuli Canteen. It's a beautiful atmosphere, beautiful weather. And Drew stepped over. Right there. To pick us up. What are the best values? Three dollars and seventy-nine cents. For the pineapple lumpia. Smell that. <laughs> it should smell like sugar and pineapple. Well, I think roll. it's called lumpia, but then in the description it says it's a spring roll filled with cream cheese and pineapple. Okay. Bite that thing. <laughs> Whopping two dollars and twenty-five cents. You close it out with some popcorn. The night changed, and we ended up at Magic Kingdom. So we wanted to pick up one last snack that you can get at any park, and it's our popcorn bucket. So you can get a box of popcorn for a little more than five dollars at any park, but you can also buy a refillable bucket for fifteen dollars and refill it anywhere at any of the parks for $2.25. And that's our last snack of the day. We're ending the day on it. This is probably the fourth time we've refilled it today. Yeah. Um, so it's definitely definitely getting our money's worth, but it's been a super fun day. Yeah. And we have snacked and snacked and snacked our way around Animal Kingdom and Magic Kingdom. And we're gonna do it again tomorrow. I'm not. <laughs> okay. In the, meantime, right, let's go. in the meantime, go, go dork yourself. Go dork yourself.